Airbnb versus Booking.com for hosts. Are you a host trying to decide between Airbnb and Booking.com? In this video, I'll break down the key differences between these two platforms to help you choose the best option for your rental property. Let's dive in. First up, let's talk about the audience. Airbnb is known for attracting a younger travel savvy crowd especially those looking for unique experiences like staying in private homes or themed properties. It's ideal for hosts offering personalized spaces or homestays. On the other hand, Booking.com has a broader reach, catering not only to vacationers, but also to business travelers. The platform is popular among guests looking for a range of accommodations, from hotels to apartments. So if you're targeting both short-term tourists and professional guests, Booking.com might have a wider audience for you. Now, let's compare the fees. Airbnb charges hosts a 3% service fee per booking, which is relatively straightforward. They also collect a guest fee, which is usually 14%, making it easier to calculate your earnings up front. Booking.com, however, operates on a commission model, so typically taking 15% of the total booking value and they don't charge guests any additional fees. So this means that you might need to set slightly higher prices to cover the commission costs on Booking.com. Keep this in mind when setting your rates. When it comes to ease of use, Airbnb provides a user-friendly platform with tools for managing your property, including messaging guests, calendar syncing, and offering experiences. It's known for its seamless mobile app and host-friendly features like guest reviews and insurance protection. Booking.com offers similar tools but is often seen as more complex due to its broader focus on traditional hotels. However, it offers more customization in terms of pricing models, availability and policies. So if you want flexibility in handling cancellations, deposits, or payment methods, Booking.com might offer more control. In terms of support, Airbnb offers hosts a comprehensive protection policy with their air cover insurance, which includes up to $1 million in damage protection and liability insurance. This gives hosts some peace of mind if anything goes wrong with guests. Booking.com doesn't have a comparable insurance program, which means hosts might need to rely on third-party insurance. However, they do have a strong customer support team available to assist with any issues. So which platform should you choose? It really depends on your property and guest preference. If you're targeting a younger, experience-seeking audience, Airbnb might be for you. If you want a broader reach and more control over pricing, consider Booking.com. Check the description below for helpful links and let me know your experience as a host in the comments. If you found this review a little bit helpful, please like and subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.